Hi there and welcome back for another Parker Adams boat sales video. Um, this one is going to be a little bit different and hopefully quite exciting. Um, behind me I have a very very special rib. Absolute beast. It's an Adam Younger design and is powered by twin 400 Mercury racing engines. Now these were rigged just in 2020 so they're, they're not even a year old. Um, Jonathan is here and he's Hello. getting everything ready to go out. Um, what we're going to do is I'm going to give you a walk around the boat, um, but we're going to do it while we're going out on the boat, which should be quite exciting. So this is a phenomenal rib. Um, it's a 2012 rib, um, but it's been basically all completely refitted. It's got the latest technology on it. Um, it's from sound systems through to chart plotters, and of course these 2020 racing 400 engines. So it's an absolute monster, and I am very, very excited to be going out on this today. Um, so we're going to go out into Southampton water um, and see what this boat can do. But on the way out there, I'm going to give you a good walk over um, tour on the boat um, and let's get on with it. So Jonathan is on official line duty and he's going to be piloting this vessel today. Um, so let's crack on with the video. See you guys very shortly. Okay, so we've now left Hamble Point and we're now just heading up the Hamble River, just out into Southampton Water. So what I'm going to do is, it's fairly windy, so I'm hoping the sound is going to be good on this. Um, but let me just give you, start off by giving you a walk around of the boat. So as you can see, just behind me are twin um, Mercury 400s. Now these are incredibly quiet engines. It's actually, it's quite freaky to think that just behind me here is 800 horsepower, which we believe will propel this rig um, to speeds well in excess of 60 miles an hour, possibly even 70 miles an hour, um, but very incredibly quiet. Um, so let's have a look here. You've got a rear bench seat here. I think you'd comfortably sit four um, people along there. Um, you've got everything you'd normally expect to see, stainless steel nav lights, anchor lights, you've got a tow eye at the back there, um, you bring this, this fender in. Um, the whole of the, um, the flooring is laid to um, a synthetic teak material, and then you've got the uh, Fusion Apollo head unit just here, so that can be controlled by people um, sitting on the back there, um, and it's set up with a monster sound system, as, as I think you can probably tell is not that surprising um, for a boat that looks like this. Uh, you've got storage lockers down in here, and then just under here, I just lift this up on gas struts and you can see under here um, there's a table and then really really nicely rigged mercury equipment here you've got a manual bilge pump um, you've got batteries either side um, cleaning equipment and just a, a very big big locker space there um, but it's nice to see the attention to detail and the quality trunking um, and everything um, in this locker here so let's bring this back down again and just close that up Okay, so let's move forward. Um, these seats look very much like bucket racing seats here, um, and there's four of them. So just see, Jonathan here is... Yeah, they're pretty comfortable. Oh. Um, and you can sit the bolsters down as well, if you have a look down there. So the bolster will come down so it can be just a complete seat, so you're protected in behind the screen. Or if you want to stand, just lift it up just like that, and you can stand. Um, also, they're adjustable, so they've got a little handle there so you can slide them back and forth as well. So fully adjustable just to get the, your best sort of position. Um, it is windy today, so we're going to get quite a bit of mic noise, I think, aren't we? Um, I suspect so, but we'll try and shield the mic as best we can <laughs> while we're out here. But let's, while, we're, while we're shielding the mic, before it gets too windy out there, um, we'll just um, spin round onto the dashboard here. So you've got, um, this is all equipment that's been upgraded very recently. Um, you've got a Simrad VHF, you've got a big Simrad plotter here. Of course, all your brand new Mercury Smartcraft gauges from when these new pet engines were put on. Um, you've got big Mercury Smartcraft controls. Um, we've got depth just coming up here. Um, absolutely everything that you need and it is all looks stunning. I have to say I really like the, um, the equipment on levels on this boat. It's, everything is really smart. Um, also on the steering, because it's got the Mercury Verado engines, you get the power steering and then there's an adjustable um, uh, I think lever, I guess you'd call it, um, which steering moves the steer yeah, adjustable steering wheel, a lever there that moves the steering wheel up and down, which is really nice. So I'll just show you out here, we're heading out now um, in Southampton Water, it's quite choppy, but actually this boat's not even moving. <laughs> so it is a very, very solid boat. I'll, I'll hide back down here again. You can see this um, co 
the teak here is all laid um, really really nicely good chunky steps here um, there's a water uh, tank which is just under here which is for a shower at the stern um, you've got courtesy LED lighting throughout the boat and then if I just I'm gonna just hunker down a little bit because of the wind you can see this lovely sun deck area here and then these cushions here will pop out um, to create a really nice seating space um, as well so I'm going to walk back down the boat again, you can see these seats here. So in terms of seating, you comfortably one, two, three, four, another four at the back, you're going to fit really eight people um, from the middle of the boat backwards. And then here, another two people on, on what this class is the suicide seat here. And then another, well, probably four or five people in the bow. So loads and loads of seating and space on this. Um, it's hard to, I'm just going to kneel down here again because I'm concerned about the wind noise. Um, it is really lumpy and it's going to be a brilliant test of the boat here. We're also going to put the drone up in a minute and we're going to do drone footage as we do with all of our listings. Um, I'm very excited to see how this boat performs. Um, as we're heading out the handle now it's very lumpy and the boat is hardly moving. Um, she is laid up incredibly solidly. Um, the guys um, that, that built her have weighed her and actually she's coming in at way over four and a half tons. So it's not just a boat that's all about performance, it's also about build quality as well. Um, which is great to see. So I'm going to turn the video off for a bit now. Uh, we're going to set ourselves up, um, get going with the, um, the drone and I will come back and give you an update once we're running. Okay, so we've just left the, um, the Hamill River now. We're just pootling into Southampton water. A um, couple more things about the dash just to point out. Um, it's got these really, really lovely um, switches on it, um, all new dash panels. So when the electronics were updated, um, there's no big um, holes here. Um, access here for electric windlass. Um, you've got um, underwater lights, I believe, on this boat. I will double check that. Um, bilge pump access, access for the shower pump. Um, and of course your electric windlass up and down controls here. So now that we've um, we've we've come out um, towards, I think it's time to open this beast up a little bit. Um, so Jonathan is here on the throttles, kill cord of course safely attached, um, and we're just starting to open her up now. Well, completely effortless acceleration there, up to 25 knots. Very very smooth with those Rado 400 engines. We're now literally just cruising along 36 knots, 37 knots. It, it is utterly effortless um, and very, very stable. I think that's something that that's, that's really surprised me in this. We're in choppy water here in Southampton Water. We're doing 42 knots at the moment. Um, I'm not holding on to anything at all um, and it is very, very stable here. How's it feel, Jonathan? Brilliant, yeah, really stable. Um, just feels effortless really does I'm really impressed with it first time driving one of these and um, yeah guys it's hard to beat I think going to put her into a turn now. Um, remember this is an Adam Younger designed hull, um, so it's a hull that's built for performance, um, but I have to say it's not just about performance, it's about comfort as well. As I said earlier, it's a heavy boat um, and that's why it does feel absolutely effortless in this chop. Um, it's hard to explain but the boat is hardly moving here. Um, it's blowing a good 5-6 down Southampton Water at the moment um, and there really is just very, very little boat movement. It feels completely stable, completely steady. Uh, we're now literally just cruising along the 36 knots um, and it yeah, just feels very, very peaceful actually. Back in now, we've just done the drone filming. Uh, we'll cut in lots and lots of the footage from that and we're back off again. So this time, um, drone's all done and we're heading back to the handle. Jonathan here is the throttle man. I cannot speak more highly about this hull. It is just so effortless. You know, it helps, it's a 10 plus metre rib, um, but it is just feels so, so stable, so secure. 
and these Mercury engines. I'm a massive fan of the Mercury Vrado engines. Um, but for twin 400 horsepower, so bear in mind this river's got 800 horsepower, I can't even hear the engines. Honestly, there's quite a lot of wind noise, but I can just hear a faint purr in the background of the engines. Really, really impressive. Now, we literally just feel like we're cruising up Southampton Water, currently doing 40 knots. Um, 40 knots, the engines are pulling just 4,500 RPM and just skipping along. What a beast, absolute monster of a rim. It's a privilege to be able to go out in something that is this much of a weapon. I personally haven't been out on a boat which has got 800 horsepower on a rib um, and it just deploys that speed effortlessly. Really, really impressive. Right, I'm going to sign off now and I will come back to you guys once we're moored up back in the handle. Thanks again for watching. Please remember, like, subscribe to the video. I want to do more videos like this, so look forward to seeing you again shortly. Okay, so we've just come back in. Um, you can probably tell because my, um, my hairline is receding even more than normal um, and I'm looking a little bit more windswept now. Um, but this boat is an absolute beast. Um, it's amazing, amazing performance and massively impressed with that hull. I was just talking to Jonathan on the way back in then. Um, you know, it was a short, sh choppy little sea out there. Um, not once did the boat slam. Um, just beautiful, beautiful performance. Um, I just joked with, um, with Adam um, Pethick, um, who we're working with with the sail, and I just said to him, um, he said, are you tying up now? I said, yeah, I'm tying up in Alderney. And to be honest, we've been out for an hour. I think we probably wouldn't be that far off Alderney if we had opened up the, um, this boat. But just a quick walk through again. Jonathan here, just sitting, recovering, <laughs> <laughs> sitting, sitting in the suicide yeah, seat here. Yeah, brilliant fun. What did you think? What's your impressions uh, from a driver's perspective, Jonathan? Well, I think there's very few ribs I've ever driven that ride as well as this. I mean, it just took the choppy seas like they weren't even there, and yeah, it's just absolutely fantastic ride. There's no banging or slapping, it just took everything in its stride. Um, it's one of the most impressive ribs I've took out, actually, and it's so quiet. Um, you know, you can't hear the engines running, and yeah, everything's just brilliant about it. Um, I really like the space on here, um, and the layout, I like this forward seating area. Um, obviously, there's a table pedestal underneath, so you can make this into uh, an area that you can not only lounge, but you can have um, um, lunches on as well and just sit around and, and enjoy so it's a very family friendly rib as well as well as a like ultimate performance it's just a really brilliant all-rounder um, I think you know anyone who bought this um, would just think it's the best thing in the world it's, it's brilliant I think, I think probably the only negative on this is if you bought the boat I think you're gonna to have to allocate a fair bit of money for fuel because I think you're gonna to want to drive this quite hard fast every single day that you well, own it that, aren't you? That's up to you isn't it? I mean, <laughs> it you is. might have the 400 and you might think oh my goodness fuel fuel yeah. but don't forget I mean this boat will do what? What's the top speed on this? Um, so I have to 60. check that yeah it's gonna be 60 plus. It thinks about 60 knots and um, and the trouble is and the thing is with that you can cruise around at 30 to 35 knots. The engines are not working engines, hard are they? Yeah they're just not working hard at all so you're just basically cruising and, and lesser ribs you'd be sort of you'd be sort of close to your top end doing 35 40 knots where this is just cruising so realistically the fueling is up to you you can cruise at a very economical speed if you want to as well so don't let the engines scare you um, and also um, these were newly fitted um, in 2020 uh, 20, yeah. in 2020 and they actually have a five-year warranty with them as well so the engines are actually warranty for five years so even though the boats are 2014 uh, 2012 2012, 2012 boat, boat um, the engines are 2020, and really when it comes to ribs, um, engines are one of the most important things. And this is 2020 engines with five years warranty. So again, um, a lot of trouble-free boating there. Yeah, and in fact, if you look at the, rig, um, the rigging cost of those engines, um, I think the you know, rigging cost of twin 400 racings, it's got to be touching 80 to 85,000 pounds. Yeah. Actually, you know, the, the price of this boat almost becomes a you know almost a bargain for the boat, considering the, well, the, the weaponry and the machinery yeah. that's in it. Plus, yeah. of course, all of the chart plotters refitted. Um, absolutely everything has been has been done on this boat. If you want to get into a big rib with brilliant power, great sea keeping, and family friendly, you just can't beat this at the minute. Yeah, absolutely. So what I'm going to do is just pan around and just have one last quick 
um, look over the rib here. So as I mentioned, you've got these lovely seats. Uh, Jonathan demonstrated earlier um, the, the bolster system. Uh, that's the same on each of the seats here. Um, something I should have mentioned here, actually, when you step on board, um, you've got a really nice footrest here. So if you are sat in these rear seats, um, you can pin yourself into the seat really, really nicely. Also, where you've got this bimini top, um, you've also got big chunky um, stainless steel grab handle here. So from a passenger comfort point of view, actually I'm really nicely pinned in here. So for passengers in these seats, you know, you'd blast across the channel in, you know, a couple of hours um, in just comfort. So yeah, it's, it, it's an absolute weapon of a rib. It's been a privilege to go out on it today. And um, yeah, looking forward to doing the edit on this and doing the drone um, footage, putting that into a video. Um, so just to come back up again, twin Mercury Racing 400R engines, um, and then just running down the boat again here. It just keeps going on and on and on. It is probably one of the biggest ribs I've ever been on. Um, and it is effortless performance. You've got stainless steel anchor down there, of course, uh, electric windlass. Um, you've got a nice stainless steel tow post here as well. Um, everything about this rib is uh, just phenomenal. Amazing, amazing bit of kit. It's been a privilege to go out in it. So let's just sign off again. So. Um, my name's Andrew Adams, this has been Jonathan Parker, um, and it's been a privilege to go out in this rib today. It's an um, 800 horsepower on tap, um, and it's phenomenal. Please like, subscribe to the video. Um, it's, it's great to show you boats like this, um, and this boat is available. It's gonna be available for viewing at our offices at Hamble Point Marina, um, and we look forward to welcoming you and showing you this boat. Many thanks for watching, take care.